There is no place on earth that screams adventure hunt more than Alaska. The countless amount of species and the vast territories makes this place a hunter's paradise. But combine all that with some great friends, new experiences, and the Sitka blacktail deer, and this trip is shaping up to be one of our toughest, but most memorable. Two liters. <laughs> it's definitely not gonna be easy. No, no, no. God, you're ugly. I know. for us or getting out in the, in the boat and it's good for us. are starting to kick in. We've got somewhat of a break in the weather, which is phenomenal because it has been really, really rough. We just got the boat docked. The sun's coming. I'm gonna head in the bush. Let's see if we can't uh, get out some deer today. So we're hunting in Alaska. The rut's kicking in. It doesn't get any better than this.
That's a cool cow. That's a cool buck right there. It's gonna be really hard to get that guy on camera. Any buck that we get on camera is gonna be a, a blessing. Man, that's a lot of miles for a... Uh, that was awesome though. That was close. Sick of blacktail buck. That was close. It's all right. And the weather's picking up again. Yep, here we go. That is a wrap on day four. Seven hours up the mountain. Chance at one buck that we couldn't get on camera, which ultimately that's why we're here. And then a few hours back down the mountain because the weather's back, even though we had a break. And we've got to take care of this right here. We lose that boat and uh, we're pretty much sunk ourselves. So we need to come down and get it. I'll try this again tomorrow. What you doing, Mike? I'm hiding under a tree. It's raining. Right. So it's our last full day here in Alaska. We are honestly hunting the toughest deer we have ever tried to go after, ever. But this is the one deer that I've wanted to go after for the last 20 years. Right here, oyster farm. That's the oyster bed. That's where we're gonna drop you guys off on this point. You guys are gonna hike up, and get into all this. All big buck country in here. So we are changing things up a bit today. Uh, Amos is actually going to go with Seth, and we are going with Larry. A lot of hiking to get into this big muskeg that he's been telling us about for days, but uh, looks like we can get there. So that is our plan. All right, guys, we're going to do it. This is my my favorite spot in the in the whole Boswick, so we're going to. Try to get you guys on some beer and call them in and let you guys video it. And I really appreciate you guys. You guys are really inspiring because you guys want to go, go, go. And that's what we're all about. We put in the time and Mother Nature's going to give us back some big bucks today. So you guys are, you guys are good, good people. Thanks. It's gonna you be guys good, are buddy. just bone cold. That's right. <laughs>
shells are like, I don't know, here, I'm gonna load it up. Holy, that's a giant buddy. <laughs> hey, Larry, I told you. Guys, we just shot a Sitka blacktail in Alaska. This is unbelievable. Two deer came in. This is our first set today. We have hunted so hard. We hammered them right there. Gotta go get them. That's not on me. That is on Larry. It's on Amos. And it's on Seth. It's on Mike. We're sticking this out. And I have a giant black tail right there. All right. All right. Let's, go. Let's go. This is this is the magic that I wanted to happen to me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Look at that thing, Chad. Obviously, I sit here with my first musk ox, and what's even more impressive is these new Cirrus units. They're working. It's in negative 20s right now. USB charging port, LED lights, the all-new Cirrus wind indicator is working right here in Greenland in the middle of March. Oh my goodness. Oh. Look at that thing, Chad. It's a four by three by four. I knew it was over three feet. The track's down there. I told you. This is beyond anything that I could have even imagined. I would have been so extremely happy taking home a spike, taking home anything, just to have this experience in Alaska with you guys. And I'm taking home a giant Sitka blacktail. This thing is the most gorgeous deer okay, hold it like that I have with ever, the showing. I have ever seen in my yeah. life. This is... I, I can't stop shaking. This is one of the greatest hunts that I've ever done. Honestly, Larry, thank you. And you know, we looked at pictures for hours the last couple of nights looking at pictures and showing you everything we've done and where we've gone. But Alaska is something special for sure. We have Mike Kimball. We're finally putting him to where he's finally doing something. And it looks good on him, man. It looks awesome. <laughs> That's the best I've ever seen him. Oh, yeah. Best he's ever looked. Yeah, you guys are awesome, man. You guys put in the mile. That's awesome. Uh, we're just, just along for the ride, Larry. Thank you, bud. All right, Mike. Let's see if we can't roll down this mountain. This is, this is awesome. Oh, I'm cool. so happy that it turned out today, and, and I'm really glad that I was able to be part of it. This, this it makes it perfect. This is amazing. And, you know, to, for two good guys coming from New York, and and I'm from the Mount Catla Village, I mean, you get, it doesn't get any better than this. I mean, this is priceless. This it is something. Is. And I had an opportunity Thank you. to do this with them. Buddy. This is three years in the making. Three years in the making buddy. and we did it. Thank you, my man. Well, Seth, thank really you. Thank, thank oh, my yeah. dad, most of all. I mean, he's the guy who put you on. You guys are awesome, trust yeah. me. We finally caught a break in the weather. This is... We are, so... We've got our buck loaded. While we were hunting, uh, we couldn't dock the boat in this bay today because of the weather. So Amos and Seth went and set crab pots, so we're gonna go pull crab pots. We're gonna have fresh blacktail and crab for dinner. In Alaska. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is amazing. The 
That's a male. That's a male. Yeah. That's a female. No, nope, that's, that's a male. A male. Small so one. Throw the females back. Keep the males. Yeah. Keep the males. They gotta be. Of course, they gotta be legal size. Right. right. Legal size. That purple back. That's gonna be tasty. Yep. Full. That's, that's a good old crap. Sweet. It reminds me of Ewoks. <laughs> would you shoot an Ewok, Mike? Probably. Larry, would you shoot an Ewok? No. Me either. Mike's, I can't eat it. <laughs> that's right, Mike's just twisted. <laughs> it's a monster here. You mean little suckers. Yeah, I, yeah, I make gear calls and I make, I make a lot every year for people. And you know, people like to look at my YouTube channel and kind of mimic the way I call. You'll find a way that works for you the best. And it's going to be what makes you confident, and you continue to use that because you're going to make the bucks come to you. You could never put a dollar value on this because, first of all, it's the meat. We're after the meat, and then when we do get the big ones, we're happy with that too, of course, because we put in our time. We go out and hike. If we don't get nothing, we still enjoy each other. We enjoy the being out there. We get to feed our families. We get to feed the elders of the community, the disabled, and that's, that's what it's all about. Leading the world in wireless trail camera technology, Covert remains the best in the game. So we are down to our last few days of our whitetail season here at home, here in Western New York. We spent a lot of time away this fall, uh, spent a lot of time up in Alaska trying to knock the Sitka blacktail off our list. but it ate up a lot of our whitetail hunting opportunity at home. So we are back. We have a giant cold front pushing through. It's finally time for us to go out and find a buck. We just had some does push through. They came out of that thick stuff, that bedding stuff, just like we thought. The heavy snow wasn't supposed to start for a couple hours, but uh, it's definitely on its way. Hopefully a buck pushes out as well, feeding before the storm hits. This has been such a long season. We just shot a really good buck and he piled up. No tracking on that deer. Thank you, God. Wow. That happened fast. The sun's literally still just coming out. That is the conclusion of the New York season right there. We finished it off with a beautiful big eight point. We have hunted hard. It's been a lot of time here. And uh, all we needed was this last clip from the push through with just a few days left in the season. We got in early and uh, sure enough, we passed the does, the does came through and we just hunted the edge of this, this big giant thick bedding area. And he 
did exactly what we need them to do. I'm super happy. What a great buck. What a really, really good, solid New York buck. I am just absolutely thrilled.